Hello everyone, Nick Teacher here. Let's do a little bit more review for the ordinal numbers. Review time. So here's our numbers, 1 through 10. Let's read them together in order. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Good job. And then let's practice one more time. Here we go. Three, two, one. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, your turn. I'm not going to speak, just you. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, good job. Okay, the last one, it's out of order. It's mixed up. So let's do it one more time together. Three, two, one. Third, sixth, ninth, fourth, eighth, second, tenth, first, fifth, seventh. Okay, now your turn alone. Here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to do some more practice. Our key question is what grade are you in? What grade are you in? Answer. I'm in the blah blah grade. I'm in the blah blah grade. So now look carefully. Charbo sale. You'll see some numbers fly up and see if you can see the number. Which ordinal number? Okay, so what grade are you in? Three, two, look. Oh, what did you see? If you saw this, you are correct. And what sentence is this? Key question? Or actually, it should be key answer. Let's take a look. Did you say this? I'm in the first grade. Good. So, Il Han Young. So, one first, one ST. Here's another one. Three, two, one, look. Oh, that one was easy. So now say, I'm in the fourth grade. What is fourth grade in Korean? Sahanyang. Good. So what grade are you in? Look carefully. Three, two, one. Ooh, that was fast. Okay, did you see it? Eight. Good. Everyone say, I'm in the eighth grade. Good. So in America, we do first to twelfth grade. So you would say, Pal Hanyang. So we have all twelve numbers for our school. Eighth grade would be Jung Yi Haksing. Okay, next one, look carefully, three, two, one. Okay, what did you see, what did you see? Second, good, I'm in the second grade. Two, second, two ND. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that one was tough. Did you see it? What was it? Fifth. Nice. I'm in the fifth grade. 
five fifth, five th. Okay, what grade are you in? Three, two, one. Oh, that one was hard. Should I do it one more time? Okay. Okay, what did you see? Nice. What is this? I'm in the third grade. I'm in the third grade. Sam Hanyang. Three third. And remember, because ends in RD, it's three RD. It's one of the special ones. Okay, what grade are you in? Three, two, one. What did you see? Bum. Seven. So I'm in the seventh grade. I'm in the seventh grade. This would be Jung Il. You'll be middle school student when you are seventh grade. Next year. Okay, here we go. What grade are you in? Three, two, one. Ooh, that one was hard. Let's, I'll let you see it one more time. What did you see? Nice. This is what you guys are. What are you? I'm in the sixth grade. I'm in the sixth grade. Last year in elementary, your majimak year. Sixth, sixth. And here we go. What grade are you in? Three, two, one. Whoa, that was super big. Did you see it? <laughs> 10. I'm in the 10th grade. That's high school. Here's another one. Three, two, one. Wow, did you see that one? Super small. One more time? Yes, no? Okay. What did you see? Good job, nine. So I'm in the ninth grade. I'm in the ninth grade. Nine, remember the E goes away. From here, we don't usually spell this, but just in case you see it, ninth, E goes away. Okay, and then for our lesson, we're using the ordinal numbers with grade, Hanyang, but these are some other ways to use ordinal numbers. Later in the year, I'm gonna ask everyone their birthday, and we use that with ordinal numbers as well. Like my birthday is May 14th. I don't say 14. And here's two other ways we use ordinal numbers. So in a building, you can say Myeotchung. We can say what floor is blah blah on. It's on the ordinal number floor. So for example, what floor is the coffee shop on? It's on the first floor. This is the first floor. And another example, where is the ice cream store? You could say it's on the fourth floor. Good, so we can also use ordinal numbers if someone wants to know the floor. And I could ask you, what floor is my English classroom on? Do you guys know, what would you say? It's on the third floor. Yes, I'm on the third floor at school. So you can use ordinal numbers here. And another time we use them is with medals. So at the Olympics, you would say first place, that's gold. 
So what would this one be? That's right. Second place, silver. And what would this one be? Third place, bronze. Don't see this word often, but gold, silver, bronze. And on their medal, they often put the short version. So 1ST first, 2ND second, 3RD third. So first place, second place, third place. Good. Okay, so for the last part, just practice with me. I'll ask the question and you can answer. I can't hear you, but I'll pretend I can. So I could say, three, two, one, what's your name? Oh, how do you spell your name? Good job. Might be hard to spell your Korean name. I can teach you later. And now let's switch. So you ask me the question. Say it out loud. Three, two, one. My name is Nick. It's spelled N-I-C-K, Nick. So that's how we'll be using this dialogue a lot. So now go to your online book and go to page 12, please, and complete that section. The link will be in the post. And after your book, I have a little project for you where you'll write a letter to me so I can get to know you. You'll make kind of a letter picture. So after your book, check that out. And that's it, so see you later.